Hi, it's Dr. Josh Brower, and I want to talk to you a little bit today about ceramic implants. I got listed by one of my patients as a holistic dentist, and so randomly I would just started having people show up to my office and talk to me about taking out their amalgams and wanting to do just all ceramics. And of course, as an implantologist, people started asking me for ceramic implants. I actually had to redo a ceramic implant uh, for another dentist in another state because I was on this website and it had basically fallen out. So <clears throat> that was my early introduction to ceramic implants and I've taken you know some courses and learned quite a bit since then. What I have realized is that zirconia implants, which is a bioceramic, not the metal, um, do really, really well around tissue. I think everybody knows that the zirconia kind of wicks away the bacteria and it's really nice. What I have seen when I place these kind of implants is that the tissue grows over them so dramatically that you almost always have to cut it back. So most of the brands are a one piece, but there is a Zeramax uh, XT implant and I bought it recently from this Emergenova and uh, it was this one right here, the Zeramax XT. It's a two piece implant and it has this little screw here. The interesting thing with the screw is you only get to use it once because they don't want you taking it in and out. But it is a true two-piece implant and they have a new one that's a uh, 3.5 that's going to be for small areas. So I placed two of these last week and uh, I'm actually planning on splinting them together so the prosthetics are kind of interesting because you also can prep zirconia abutments in the mouth quite easily. So I'm planning on splinting and prepping those. But what I really like uh, in particular about the ceramics is they just don't seem to fail. The one that I had to redo was due to traumatic occlusion and not due to the actual implant itself. So I find that these have really, really good tissue response compared to a regular titanium implant. And that's after over 20 years of experience and many thousands. I can truly say that these have a better tissue response than a titanium implant without any doubt in my mind. What I also like about them is of course that they're white and they look nice so if you have an aesthetic area and you have some concerns about future tissue recession you can actually just prep the abutment down further and make a new crown. So I like that longevity factor as well. Um, one of the other things that I found interesting when I got the brochure with the implants uh, from Emergenova was the vitamin D. I personally do lecture on PRF and vitamin D use and uh, oxidative stress so I really like the fact that they have the solution for wellness surgery where you actually get antioxidants and vitamin D. In South Dakota where I'm practicing today uh, we have about 85 percent of our patients that are deficient in vitamin D and when we do surgery that's an oxidative stressor and so that reduces it greatly. So I like to have all of my patients on vitamin D just to make up for the loss of that from the surgery. Without the vitamin D you can't uptake the calcium from the blood to actually create the calcium sulfate which the bones are made of. So it's really important if you want to have good strength and rigidity of the bone to support the implant that you have a sufficient amount of vitamin D. One of the things that's important that we do know is that when you first place an implant it gets looser for a few weeks before it gets tighter. I do believe that that's due to the oxidative stress of these surgeries and that if we can pre-load our patients with vitamin D that that's going to decrease dramatically for us and if we do have early failures those also should likely decrease. Anyway, I want to talk to you just about the ceramic implants. I'm really impressed with them. I really like them. Hopefully in the future we're going to see as many sizes and shapes as we have titanium. I think they're great for the aesthetic zone. I really like the fact that they are biocompatible for everybody who wants them and that they have a really good tissue response. So in my hands they've been actually something really nice to add to my practice and I think that you should add them to your practice as well if you haven't done so yet. Thank you very much.